So. So. We're going to play the demo. Beta. Yeah. demo -y thing. The beta demo. The beta demo. Well, it's ostensibly a demo. The beta version of Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah. The. It even says beta version there in the bottom right Yes, corner. it does. This is gonna. This is gonna be the biggest deal coming out of Concept. Period. Uh, until it's released, and nobody's gonna care about anywhere about anything else Concept has done anywhere near as much as they care about this. That part, I'm sure, is true. We only have one stage. Play that one. You can play the mine. You should probably play the one that we can actually play. Let's play the mine. Hmm. Ah, oh, no data. Let's see here. We've got city, oil platform, waterworks bureau, put oil oceans, power plant, mine, military base, radio tower, highway, official residence, and prison. Prison. But obviously, as we only have one stage, we'll play this stage. I don't know, Beck. Where are you? You're in the military base. Am I back with Doctor Sonda? Hmm? What voices? Who's doing his voice and what? Uh, nothing. They're gone already. Ah, darn it! So, this probably looks really effing familiar. We just played this game! Whoops. What is that? Is that That's... Rush Jet? It looks like Rush Jet. No, no I, 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 know. <laughs> I know. I know what Rush Jet looks like. It's not that. So here's... Ooh, an enemy. Here's an interesting thing. This is the thing that's going to set this game apart from Mega Man, which is obviously what it's this is going to be the successor to, whether you know, it is intentionally or not. It's a KG and a Fune game, and this is the type of game he likes to make. So here's the fun thing. Ah, it's blue. Oh, then he picked himself back up. And he's back to fine. Oh, what, what, what does that mean? That is destabilized. When you shoot enemies enough, they become destabilized. Okay. This is a basic enemy. Three shots, destabilized. The thing about destabilization is that when they become destabilized, so that dash I was doing? Yeah. Yeah. If you dash into a destabilized enemy, uh -huh. you absorb them. I'm sorry, I'm trying to act surprised. I, I know how it works. Okay. Well, I'm, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm being the audience at home. The audience at home. The faster you absorb something after you destabilize it, the higher your percentage is with a, a max of 100. The thing is, absorbing enemies has, you know, a positive effect. In that you actually get buffs. I got 100 on that one. But I've gotten 100 on most of them. Uh, the color of the destabilization color dictates how dictates the buff. Red is a power buff, and it makes your shots pierce. Okay. Green is a speed buff, and makes them faster. Okay. Yellow is a defense buff. Take less damage. Defense. Take damage. That makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. The blue ones are interesting. They, make, actually, they make you interesting? They make you more interesting as a person. That's great. As an individual. So here's the trick with the blue ones. You notice under my life bar over there, I now have this little purple circle. Yes. It looks kind of like the buff circles that appear above my head. Yes. Absorb enough blue stuff. And you get a health stock, okay. which is basically an E-tank. Oh, okay. Make sure you actually destabilize an enemy before you try to dash in. Good, uh, good advice. Yeah, you don't have to do that. That's just a suggestion. <laughs> a strong suggestion. That's the recommended daily guideline suggestion. If you have, uh... You also do actually do a little bit more damage when you have the attack buffer. Not just the boost. If you play this demo for more than four hours, please contact your physician. <laughs> If this demo lasts. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's, it's more accurate by being actually accurate. Whoa! That's a fun bug. There's the enemy is like doubling up. 
Yeah! That is... Report it! Oh! Yeah, you can absorb more than one enemy at a time. There's actually a pretty good area around that that the absorption occurs, so you don't... You, you don't, don't have to worry about actually, like... You don't have to dash straight into it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, there's That's a good, good example of that. And it's a really good thing to know that that's possible. Yeah. So that you're not getting yourself, you know, taking extra damage for no good reason. Right. Because that would be a good reason. So the forklift. His, uh... It also makes him basically do a slot. Like, the, the pro purpose of the slide in Classic Mega Man was that you could get into areas too small, you know, too short normally. Yeah. Vex Dash will make him... He kind of, like, sh shrinks under. Does the same thing? Yeah. So it's kind of a combination of the slide from Classic Mega Man and the dash from Mega Man X, but it also has the combat application of the building enemies. Prepare to be exterminated. One character had a voice. That was it. Just the one. Yeah, the, that dash makes this a really fast game. I was not expecting Mighty Number no. Nine to play this fast. Like constantly it, yeah, dying. It kind of looks a little slower uh, from when, like when you're not dashing. Yeah. Then you start dashing. It's just like whoa. This game's got a lot of speed going on. And because of the whole dashing into enemies once you stabilize them thing. There's a con there's an aspect of constant movement to yeah. gameplay, whereas in and, classic Mega Man games there was a lot of start and stop. Yeah, and your speed is like based off of your ability to dash at the right time. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. Oh. oh. Now, one nice thing I think is uh, if you keep getting 100% uh, absorptions, mm -hmm. whoa, you'll create a combo. Mm -hmm. That combo is not broken if you take damage. It's only broken if you don't get a 100% absorption. Oh. What the fuck? So yeah, like, so it's, a, it's a combo based off of offense rather than. Your dodge ability. Well, yeah, defense. Yeah. <laughs> Based off of attacking as opposed to needing to never take a hit. Yeah. And I done. I, I've been trying over and 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 over since I got the demo to do that dash into that little nook and not hit the front enemy. One of the things about this game so far is that. You fly back so far when you get hit in the air. Like, I dashed into that enemy, touched him, and fell like five feet backwards into those spikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. that was quite a bit. Quite a bit backwards. Combo. Not a little girly combo. Oh, you dick fucker! Lame combo. <laughs> little girly combo. I'm just like paying attention. Hmm, this place looks pretty fun, huh? <laughs> Ow. Yo, back! I didn't read the rest of it! Oops. And yeah, like, the dash just inherently can be done in mid-air as well. Oh, oh. What the hell? 
I mean, all my controls keeps acting really weird. I don't know if it's the controller or what. Actually, I think it's just the beta. I was having some of that problems uh, when I play some of my controllers that uh, occasionally they'll just be awkward. Yeah. And that was what got me killed there a second ago. Like, he was moving forward and I didn't want him to be. Gotcha. Woo! Cheering for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah. This I can get to happen every single time. If you, when you dash through that enemy to absorb him, you always just kind of get stuck on this wall here. It's not permanent. You can just... Okay. I was concerned for your well-being. Thank you, Eddie Analog. Eddie Flip Top, whatever. The doors! The game's little lost mouse has wandered. Damn it. Yeah, the uh, the dialogue goes by really fast. I couldn't even read it fast enough without voicing it. Because I read slow. These guys remind me of, uh, tennis ball launchers. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I can see, uh, the comparison there. Oh, and I'm gonna be starting to play tennis sometime soon. Ooh, I just bought a new racket and everything. I gotta get some shoes that are better suited for it, but... There's a new racket and a couple camera balls right over there to the side. What, uh, prompted that? Uh... I don't know. Physical. Well, I guess why tennis as opposed to anything else? Oh, it's because it's, uh, it's it doesn't require a team, um, and it's easy to like, have a location for it. And I used to play it. There we go. I and the same thing happened again. I tried to go back and grab the ladder, and he didn't. Yeah, like the two sports that I used uh, to actually play. Uh, were. yep. That bug? That guy? Yep. Going through the ceiling? But yeah, the two sports I used to play were tennis and baseball. Baseball, you kind of need a team and you need a field. See what I mean about how, like, how far back you fall when you yeah. hit midair? You, know, you just, like, it's, there really, is a, it's almost there impossible to recover from it, too, if you're over, like, a hazard. Where if you're in hazard, Hazard County. What if you're metal hazard? What if you're that? Yeah. Oh yeah, so tennis, tennis is a good game though. Good game. Whoa! What the fuck just happened? You dashed when you should have. No, he got dashed. like stuck on the ceiling. Go! Where am I? This is amazing. I didn't do this bad the first time. Military, I fucking played this. Demigo. I played that. Tech, I'm detecting several readings ahead. Proceed with caution. We do all the brokers. I cannot really express how fucking angry it makes me that I do so badly at these games when I shouldn't be just because we're recording. It's that, uh... It's not even the thing that, like, I'm talking while playing because I was streaming this. Performance anxiety. Wait, you, you were performing then too. I don't know, it's just me being around, I think. It could be my TV throws you off. I have a fuck. Well, actually, I think we had that conversation. I actually, my TV was bought specifically because it is. Uh... Yeah, so was mine, but we also discussed that. Uh, Dick fucker. That uh, yours is probably like better for uh, input lag than mine. Yeah. Even though mine has like a super low delay or refresh, whatever you know. The frame rate is like super good, but the uh, the input delay might be a problem. I think that's what it is. Uh, also, I mean, I know for sure that was the problem with Space Channel Five. Right. Also, like, I, I, I hate kind of 
using it as an I feel like I'm using it as an excuse, but the reality is that it's very, very um, early. Yeah, that's not what I was going to say, though. Um, it's very much an accurate thing to point out that, oh, there's a bug here, there's a bug there. Sometimes the controls go weird because it's a beta, because it's a very early release yeah. of the game. I just, I hate... The doors! Using, like, I hate using that as an excuse. See, the mouse is what there is. No matter, no matter, an army is prepare to be exterminated. We'll head to the doors, Beck. You just hold on until we finish. Ah, I hate those shit, guys. I hate them Mises to pieces. What? I combined Yosemite Sam with uh, that other cat. The cat. <laughs> Yosemite <laughs> Sam's not a cat. No, he's not. Uh, That's true. That cat. You know the cat. No, I don't. You know that cat, right? That hip cat. That hip cat with that jive talking. <laughs> <laughs> remix that into a remix album. <laughs> oh, Mighty so number nine. Mambo number nine. I, I still have not figured out a way to like a consistent way to get a one. Also, the speed upgrade actually really screws me up in terms of uh, my movement. Yeah, does it? Yeah. Come on. Gotta go fast. Ah! Amazing! Hmm, not persistent, but you're too late. Let loose the dogs of war, all hands charge! I'm getting massive ratings from the base, it seems something. <laughs> it seems something. <laughs> I agree. Seven combo. There's a lot of this still feels very fidgety, like the ledge grabbing feels kind of ledge grabbing feels fidgety. How far back he flies when he gets hit in the air is like that really needs <laughs> to get changed. Wow! I'm so glad I'm now completely butt fucked because the unfortunately the ledge grabbing and general movement controls are so kind of wonky right now. You hear that concept? The game's busted. Yes, you're early one-level beta demo is, uh... I don't know what it is about absorbing a dude when you go into these walls. And it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm stuck against the wall, not. <laughs> just absorb a dude. Stuck in the wall. Just absorb a dude. Absorb a dude? <laughs> That's my favorite comic strip in the Sunday Funnies. <laughs> absorb a dude. Absorb a dude. Ow. It's right there with Marmaduke. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you shoot there? Why did you dance? <laughs> Absolutely nothing I thought was going to happen happened. Do you mean nothing that happened was something that you expected, or <laughs> what was that? Uh, that was a little break dancing. By break dancing, I mean broken dancing. <laughs> Broke dance. Broke back dance. No. Joke. Title. I wish I could be making <laughs> jokes about broke back now. <laughs> I know. Dude! 
Or aren't you the better man? Hey, you did it! <laughs> Excellent! Now the boss, finally. Excellent! Excellent. That's weird, I'm still not used to the fact that it doesn't auto-push you through the door once you've touched the door. Yeah. So, so I always made it this far. I, I tend to walk up, touch the door, it opens, and I just stand there for a few seconds. As long as there's a battle fight, fighting is my way of life! That power was it not also made for? And it goes back too fast. We can't come by losing this fight. Why do you even? Because I don't know. I think it's funny. Ah, no flag, no flag, no flag, no flag, no flag. That's funny too. Not getting hit. You should kill this guy. I like this about the boss fights. So. People who play fighting games, you're probably used to the idea of how there's three parts of a health bar. When it's full, when it's empty, and the red part that you can refill if you don't get hit for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Man, there we go. <laughs> well, with the bosses in Mighty Number no. 9, you actually basically you create the red part in the middle. Yeah. And then. What you have to do is, after you do enough of it, then you have to stabilize. And you charge them. Yeah. And if you don't charge them while they're destabilized, they're invincible. And they, and they regenerate the red part of their health. And when you get to the very end, he does this. Although I don't know if this is just because of the demo or something. Like, I don't know if maybe he's actually going to be, like, curing them or something in the actual story. Mission completed. You got 59 damage. Oh, 93. Wow. You got an A. A. Man, I have never gotten a bone a point a score bonus on damage because I always take a bunch of hits. A. Yeah, that was the beta demo for Mighty Number no. Nine, the very and uh, highly anticipated. Uh, again, it's it's one of those things where it's. Everybody in the fandom and in kind of gaming that isn't the people making the game, like, it's the successor to Mega Man. It's the Mega Man replacement. Yeah. It is it is Mega Man. And, of course, KG and Concept are just like, no, we're just, that's just the type of game we like to make. That's why Mega Man was Mega Man was because that's what KG did. That is. You know, so we're just making the game we want to make. We're not saying that it is or is not anything because... It's not trying to be anything other than what we're making it to be. Of course, it doesn't help that an already released game that also made by NT Creates, because NT Creates is working with Comcept to make this, mm -hmm. as your Striker Gunvolt, is seen as the successor to the Mega Man Zero and ZX series. Right. Because that was NT, that was the stuff that NT Creates started doing for the Mega Man franchise, and then they also did nine and ten, classic like classic nine and ten. Uh, and another one that not nowhere near as many people are aware of, but I actually backed a Kickstarter for is a game called Echoes of Eerdu. I have no idea what that is. Oh, uh, it is basically it's a roguelike built on the framework of Mega Man X. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, I've seen like I actually I'm gonna email those people. And uh, see if they'd be willing to send me a press demo. Yeah. Because apparently, you could, like, that's how people have gotten demos. They just, like, during the Kickstarter, they just contact and be like, Hey, I'll talk about your game or whatever. Mind if I get a demo? So I can see if maybe they'd be willing to still do that <laughs> and give it a try. But yeah, it's, like, randomly generated levels and everything. But you start off as either a buster cannon using character or a sword using character who's red. And you get all kinds of crazy power-ups and there's, like... You know, Mega Manic style bosses at the end of each stage and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, crazy. And I said at the end of my completed post Razor Striker Gunvolt, like, we don't need Capcom anymore to do this. Like, That's true. If Capcom's not going to make Mega Man, 
you know, we don't need the title. We don't need the name for it to be the spirit of what those games were and why people love those games. We don't need the name Mega Man. We don't. To be a Mega Man. <laughs> the fuck? We don't need the name Mega Man to be a Mega Man? Yeah. That's what you just said. That is exactly That's, what I said. That is what you said. Yeah, I'm not saying the Mega Man. I'm saying a Mega Man. <laughs> So what other options are there? There's calibrating your controller, there's audio levels. Oh man! All sorts of crazy videos. Look at that, you can change the texture quality. Depth of field. You can turn the field off. Bloom and blur and shadow yeah. quality. And that's yeah. weird. Yours actually started all this maxed out. Yeah. Mine didn't have anti-aliasing on to d as oh, a default. Weird. I turned it up and it didn't. There was no problems, so... That's weird. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Are you sure? I'm like, isn't your graphics card better than mine? Anyway, that was... <laughs> that was Mighty Number no. 9, and some talking about the legacy of Mega Man. The new legacy. Legacies. Legacy? <laughs> There's just a long pause of nothing. 